Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shosley Mimi where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see they hot. Of course you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel if it snows you do war. Well. You lose. Are you here to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the juice brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the juice? I see the heart. So, guys, um, it's giving... I'm still your mommy vibe in the Hazard the Stralabam challenge. Yeah, so Biggie actually asked the housemates to partake on the dancing challenge. So the housemates were divided into four different groups. We have the team green, team red, team blue, and team, ye team yellow. So we're going to talk about how these people gave us dance step. I have the people I think should win this one. Yes, I have the peeps I already think to win this one, that they deserve this win. I, I mean the team. I'm judging according to their dances, like the way they gave me the dance I love, you know. So you guys will tell me also, if you, you will tell me the team you're going to vote for. Because guys, Biggie made this one for the viewing public, that you are going to vote for the best dancers. Biggie has noticed that his house is kind of boring, so he chose to make the housemate feel energetic. So for Team Green, we've got Topher, Anita... Cassia and Sean in this team. They they were the first to go and they gave their dance step, you know, guys. So you tell me, is it team green for you? After the team green, we had the team yellow, which actually have um what's the name? The twins, Wani X Handy, Onyeka, and OC. Guys, Omar, it was giving vibes on vibes, okay? So this team, the person who surprised me the most, already I knew the swans can dance. Onyeka, um, Wani X Handy, of course, they can dance. You know, and Onyeka has energy for days. But OC, we've seen OC and OZ always standing firm, like on the on the dance floor and just moving only body. But OC surprised me, I'm not going to lie. Like, baby boy did moves his body. Papa Lolo. <laughs> He did move his body in an unexpected way. I never see that one coming. I'm not going to lie. So for this team, I saw the fire. I saw the flames coming up for Team Yellow. Then the next team was Team Red. Oh, this team. I feel this team was really, really the least for me. When it comes to green, yellow, the red seems to be the least. You know, I told you guys, I'm yet to tell you guys the team that I would say should take the win because the viewers are going to vote. And I know most of you all are going to vote this housemate according to how you love them. You guys are going to go vote your fave because they're in that team. But if you guys want to be neutral, just like me, try to vote the people who gave the best dance. It's okay for us to see best dance different ways, but come on, some things are quite obvious, guys. Especially if you know how to dance. <laughs> and if seeing Team Red win this challenge, I'm, I'm going to be like, what? <laughs> so uh, let's talk about the last team before I would tell you guys the team I would really vote for to win this one. So this is Team Blue and it comprises of um, um, Suj. Nelly, Chizoba, and Ben. You see this team, when they were practicing, I said they are definitely going to win this one. When they were practicing, just Suja and Zoba, I was like, these people, they are taking this money. They are taking this win. You know, viewers should vote these people because of the dance step from Suja and Chizoba. Even when they were practicing, um, Suja and Chizoba had a little disagreement about opinions or whatever because Chizoba was suggesting freestyle or whatnot. But guys... When they came, because they were the last set to dance, when they started dancing, the vibe was not giving. It was not going in alliance. Everything was not giving like I thought it would. So this team, that was the moment when they performed was the moment I said, ah, are you sure the viewers, as in if the viewers want to choose from a neutral stand, I think the people who is supposed to win this dancing challenge is Team Yellow. The team that has OC, Wani, X Handy, and then Onyeka, that team is supposed to win this dancing challenge. For me, oh, that is my own opinion. You tell me which team now, guys, can you be sincere and tell me the team, team you think should win this one? Like, the team that danced well, make gonna try in a common standship. <laughs> you guys should just try and make this thing fun for at least today. 
remove Starship and just tell me the team you think deserve this win. Just tell me. So for me, I think it is Team Yellow. Then for you, tell me in the comment section. When after the finish dancing, after all teams has finished dancing, and then Big Brother told all of them to gather in one of the rooms. I think the Sunrise bedroom. All of them were there having conversation. You know, guys, something about those housemates amazed me. <laughs> something about them amazed me. Anyways, um, before Biggie actually had to tell them to go to their separate bedrooms because i was wondering what is biggie cooking up she he asked them to stay in normally biggie would ask the husband to go to the garden and lock the door you know but this one is stay in the rooms and now big brother said they should stay in their separate bedrooms everybody should stay where their bed belongs because before biggie gave that instruction right they were together and then ben was making mouth that hey if you see my dance step hey omo ben is a funny guy i'm not gonna lie he's effortlessly funny we all know Ben cannot even dance. Ben said, if you see what I did there, Omo, we are now a dance crew and all of that. She now they reject me. I don't want to make her dance with Tuna. Like, he was just making them laugh. They were like, okay, after this challenge, he should dance for them. He said, no, Biggie will give us punishment. <laughs> now, while they were having this fun conversation, Ben was making them laugh about his dance step that I did not even see. Very funny dance step. But guys, while they were having this convo, there is something this house may say I'm like, yo, um, at this point, there is no remedy to anything to push this housemate to have issues. Why did I say so? So they said, I don't know what prompted the topic. And they started saying that, I think it's Wani or the sister. They started saying, oh, this house that is boring. Okay, they packed them one side. They said Biggie. Okay, they started the gist about their head of house challenge. How Biggie was so serious, serious minded, did not even laugh in actually giving out his speech to them. And I even said that to you guys that Biggie was even pissed. With the way he sounded with the housemates, right? I said it yesterday that he sounded so angry. The housemate noticed that too. They said the way he even spoke to them and everything. Now, let's leave that. So then, when they were having that convo, it was what prompted Wani and Handy. They were like, why no go verse? Biggie don't try make una give and drama, una no give her. Now, <laughs> do you know why this is funny to me? The housemates see themselves to be even boring. They call themselves, in fact, so far call themselves content creator, but yet they are not giving content. Now, if they find themselves so boring and they notice that Big Brother have been igniting all of this fire to step drama in the house, but they are not giving in. Imagine people who the parrots spew and nothing happened, even, see, they were even saying it themselves. They'd be like, Biggie is doing all of these things to create drama. No, no, no one great do drama. They don't do face to face nomination. No, no, see, they laugh over it. They do love and light. I'm like, hey, God, <laughs> we enter this one. Like with our full chest, we enter this one. You know, they were saying that, oh, despite everything Biggie is doing, that them, they are still doing love and light in the house. They are still kikakaying. They are doing kikakaying full time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. Hey, <laughs> wahala. <laughs> I'm like, how? So you guys are aware that your season is actually not giving like all this drama and you guys chose the way of peace and it's okay the way of peace is okay it's very okay to me the show is okay oh. let's be watching it like that as it's going you know the housemates they've decided that is that's how they want it to be and it's fine they are actually protecting their mental health and how draggers will be dragging them post show but the funny thing is even how they've choose to maintain peace and tranquility Draggers have been even dragging them, like say tomorrow, no day. I be wondering what has this housemate done for all of this drag going on on the social space? What have they done for all of this toxicity going on on the social space? For a season this peaceful, yet draggers are everywhere. Now imagine they put up drama. So fans, I would say to you guys, I think these housemates are this are like this because of you guys. If they want to give you guys things to talk about, you guys are gonna drag them to fields, and they don't want it. So the fans are to blame on this one. The way you guys drag both Dick, Tom and Harry, both those who did nothing to you guys, you guys can go so extreme. And these people are, are scared because they are huge fans of this show. They watch this show. They see how people who went on this show receive drag. That's why they are trying to maintain the vibes. All vibes and inshallah. Anyways, talking about maintaining vibes and inshallah, still talking about what um I just said you guys about how Cassia reviewed to Handy about Onyeka spilling to her on the ish that happened, right? I told you guys that Cassia told Handy. Handy went to tell Wani. And Wani was telling Sean that she barely see genuineness when having conversation with Onyeka. That one aside. Now, let's fast forward to now. Um, Today, Onyeka was having conversation, I think, with Sean and Ben. You know? So, and then she said something. She said, 
the, the one that got to have the most with what the parrots peeled was the aspect of her trying to force friendship with the twins. She went ahead and said if she was trying to force friendship, she would have actually been, you know, doing a better person to them, like trying to lick their backside. Do you understand what I mean? I don't want to use the A word. So, but the time they had issues, the time she had fight with the twins that she had decided to date her day, they should even date their own day. Like she even though said if they did not talk again, you know, that if it was people she wanted because of that, she wouldn't have done a thing like that. That that was the highest lie, that she never said a thing like that. Now, the question is, who is really lying? Is it Cassia or Onyeka? That is the question at hand, guys. Who is really lying? And Cassia says she's going to confront Onyeka. I still await to see that happen, you know. But for Cassia to come up and open up to Handy and Wani, that means she's literally sure about that. Because if not, she would have just kept it secret and not even say anything at all. Like she would just hide it, hold it, and not even reveal at all. For her to have told Wani ex Handy, it's very possible for her to know that this Wani and Handy knows Onyeka my hair. And she even told um, Handy, I will still even tell Onyeka. So now we need to know who is saying the truth. And I can't wait for the moment um, it will come to the open. Onyeka will get to know it was Cassia who said it. And we'll see the reaction. And we'll definitely see what they would say. Is this going to cause their friendship? Are they not going to be talking again? Not like they really have a close friendship. But are they not going to be in good terms in that house again? Let's see how everything plays out anyways. Because for Onyeka, she can't wait to see who that is. And if she did say some, that thing to someone, she should be able to remember who that person is. It's just, for example, I'm saying something to you guys. And then when you listen to that, maybe I just say something that is wrong to you guys, which I barely do on my channel because I would always say things that are truth. You know, even the wrong things, I'll bring them here and tell you guys, guys, this thing they are trending is wrong. You know, follow the, the rights the rights of truth always. That is me. That is if you can say the truth about me, me, just leave me, me. Remove whatever feelings you have about me and say the truth. You know, that's what I do here. You know, now, like, for example, I, so I'm using myself for example and say, okay, I just gave a fake gist or say, oh, something, something, something happened. And then later you saw the actual gist outside. What would you do? Is it not me you have in mind that, ah, this blogger, me, me. Hey, she was the one that told us this thing. That was the example you, that was the thing that would come to your mind first. That it was Mimi. You would even come to my comments. I know now to come and call, call me out. Mimi, you this one. This senseless blogger. This one, this one. You guys do, some of them do that a lot. It's normal. So that was what you'd have come to do. You give fake gist, you do this. So for Onyeka not to remember who she told that, is it because she has been doing so much on Chocho or she know and she's just holding it up? Until the person comes out open. Now the question again is, is it Cassia or Onyeka that is saying the truth? We'll find out, so definitely we will. But for now, babies, I have to drop my voice to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.